St. Sulpicius Severus said of St. Martin of Tours that he commanded a raging conflagration to cease and it instantly obeyed him. St. Francis of Assisi, St. Anthony of Padua preached to the beasts and fishes and St. Benedict made the sign of the cross over a poisoned goblet of wine and it shattered. Many more wonderful things the saints did and we hold them in awe. The greatest accomplishment of them, though, is all the same. The same power and ability that you and I have. The ability to conquer ourselves, to overcome ourselves. I find myself repeating that we each have our own unique struggle. And that's because, ultimately, we only have ourselves to fight against. And we're all different, so it's unique for us all. Again, this is the greatest thing we can accomplish. Overcoming our fallen human nature and growing in love for God to the point that we can move mountains. So you thought it was faith that moved mountains. Yes, but if you have faith to move mountains and not charity, you are as a tinkling brass. So God wants love rather than great feats. What is love, though, but overcoming ourselves? Turning away from ourselves, from away from what we want and desire, and sacrificing for another. But how do we attain this self-conquering love? All good things come from above. And so our Lord ascended the mount to disclose the higher things to his disciples, to give us to understand that these are rewards for so ascending, for our efforts, for our trials. And so you have the virtues, our good habits that we practice, the gifts of the Holy Ghost our helps to practice those virtues. And these two are your, your quote-unquote ascent, your struggle, your, your application of what you've learned, of what you know. And then the twelve fruits are the results of your ascent, how far you have ascended. And the Beatitudes, which we heard in the Gospel today, are the rewards. But for what do we gain all these things? Again, for love. Love not to be discontinued with ourselves, but shared and passed on. Passed on to an ever-increasing number. Not something to be hoarded, but it should be shared. And so, do we find ourselves lacking in any one of these aids of ascent? Ask those who possess them in abundance. The saints have already conquered. The saints have already gone through our trials and struggles. As St. Therese, the little flower, said, I will spend my heaven by doing good on earth. Shows the saints' desire to help us. They know exactly what we're going through. They went through it themselves. Because they were ordinary people. They wish to spread Christ's kingdom. Why do you think they did miracles? Just to show off their holiness? To show off God's power? to show the power of their allegiance. That they have more than just faith to move mountains. They have love strong enough to conquer themselves. They have love strong enough to suffer all things for Christ. Any persecution that comes upon them, that came upon them, 
because they know their sufferings, in their sufferings, they're in union with our Lord. As we read, the servant is not greater than his master. If they have persecuted you, or if they have persecuted me, they will persecute you. And again we have in the Gospel today, blessed are they, blessed are you when they revile you. So it's very important that we call upon the saints. For they want us to suffer for love as they do. They want us to ascend so we may all, we may all join them and the angels in heaven saying, Benediction and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving, honor and power and strength to our God forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.